Hi guys, it's Glenn Miley again here at the Florida Rare Museum. I'm at work. Wanted to show you this uh, open car that we finished for the Christmas trains. Here it is here. This is the 6324, built in 1962 for the Union Pacific Railroad as a baggage car. It later went to work for Ringling, Ringling Brothers, and hauled elephants for many years. The museum acquired the car Easter, Easter Sunday, 2012, and here it is December 2012. The car has already completed eight round trips, hauling close to 800 passengers. We completely converted it over from the baggage car to an open, open sided coach, open air coach. You can see the job we did opening up the sides of the car. You can see where the baggage door was here. And we added two restrooms to the car. Original UP number 6324. We're going to go ahead and go inside and take a look at the interior. Alright, this is the interior of the car. Did a tremendous amount of work in the car. If you watch the, um, the work in progress video, which is just two months ago or a month and a half ago, and you can see how far we were. You see how the openings turned out here. Nice and clean. We added this pipe for extra security for the passengers. The car seats 100 people. I ran out of the blue seats, so we had to use these green ones to fill it in. We left this area here empty of seats. Because uh, in 2013, we're going to cut a hole in the side of the car here and put in a vestibule so it can unload itself. Here's some remnants of when it was working for Ringling. That's for the elephant tie downs. So this car hauled elephants for years and years. We said it seats 100 people. It's decorated for the Christmas trains right now. Nice big wide aisles. Uh, the bus seats are a little skinnier than railroad seats. Even added a sound system. Nice sound and outdoor speakers. These are the restrooms here. We added two restrooms to the car. Restroom one. And right across the hall, restroom two. They're not real big, they're pretty small. You can see it goes from right there, door, end of restroom. But they're big enough, you know. We got the uh, exhaust fan. They got sinks in them. And paper towel holders, mirror. And then the, uh, the toilets. These toilets here are actually, they're not the conventional RV style direct drop into a tank toilets. These are, uh, they're called head hunters. The holding tank, the toilets directly over the trucks of the car. Here with another rare museum or torture, you understand what I'm talking about. The holding tank is about, tw about 50 feet down the side of the car. These toilets will actually shoot the debris up to 100 feet down almost horizontal pipe. You only need like an inch drop per, fifth, per, per 20 feet. So they're very efficient toilets. They require electricity. You can see they got electricity on there. They, they run off 12 volt. This button here is you actually use to flush it. You push that button and it goes push, and it's gone. But anyway, so this is our newest car. Like I said, it's a 100 seat. It's a 6324. It was built in 1962 for the Union Pacific Railroad. Sold to Ringling in 1972. The museum acquired the car in 2012, Easter Sunday. And here it is, December 2012, and it's been completely converted from a baggage car, elephant car, to a 100 seat passenger coach. All right, so that's the update, and we'll talk to you folks later. Out.